hello and welcome guys so today as discussed earlier we would be making our own linked list class okay we are not going to rely upon the class that is provided in the java.util framework okay or in the util package so let's see how everything goes So basically for that I have made a class with the name my linked list. So inside this I would be making another class. So to get upper hand or up abstraction layer. So I would be using private because inner class can be private. Private static class node. Okay. So now this is our node class as explained earlier node contains two parts so that would be data part and node next part next part because it would be reference to the next node so whenever the node constructor would be called i want that some data to be entered okay so next part would always be null if you haven't seen that video yet that i have explained about the linked list so please go and check that video because after that video you would have a great or deep understanding about how linked list will work okay so this is our static class that has been made so now we are to uh, get some methods so the first method that we would be using is uh, our first method would be inserting a node that means addition method so uh, first of all i would i want a pointer that is a head pointer so i am getting a reference that is a pointer to this node uh, not pointer really in java but a reference okay so I would be using void add public void add and I want what I want I want nothing no no I want something I want to add data okay so now now to add data there are two possibilities first of all if our list is empty and the second possibility is that if the list contains some elements so if our list is empty first of all to add data i need to create a reference of this node so to node new node is equal to new oh you might get confused so i would be writing this node to insert is equal to new node and i would be passing data this data would get would be passed into here and from this it would go to this okay so now two cases if our head is equal to null that is obviously first time head would be null so what to do now so if head is equal to null head would be to insert simple and that and i would return my list okay but if it is not that case if head is not null so first of all i would be creating temporary variable to head why because i want to traverse my list and i want to put that element to the end of that list so i would be doing while temp dot next is not equal to null temp dot next because i want to reach my last uh, reference till it is not null so i would be doing temp is equal to temp dot next and now see what has been happening is that uh, see now see let us assume that it is first node and it is second node these two nodes are already in our class okay and i want this new node to be uh, entered so what i need to what i need to do is i need to traverse from this to this while checking that its next is not null see this next is not null this next is pointing to this node okay 
some address 11 so it is pointing to 11 okay so now i am doing temp is equal to temp dot next so now i have reached here because after that it is null so what i want is instead of null it would be our new node so now our code becomes after that i would be doing temp dot next would be to insert okay so our addition function is also complete see how easy it is how to get the implementation of linked list is easy so now in order to print our list we need to make a method so i would be doing this print list this is just for your sake of understanding that's why i am using it like this so now now how to print first of all again temp because i need to have a reference to my head node okay so that's why i am using temp here so now i would be doing while temp is not equal to null so i would be doing while temp is not equal to null i would be printing uh, temp dot data and from where this data came this data came from here yeah okay from our class node okay temp while temp is not equal to null and we are printing temp dot net data so i would be doing temp is equal to temp dot next to further traverse our node so till now we have made two methods one is add and one is print so let's check this out so i would be making here another class that i would be doing checklist so here i would be having my main method okay so i need to make a object of my linked list class which is equal to new my linked list class okay that is good so till now we have created a uh, object of this class so now how to print data obj dot now i am having add method here so obj dot add 12 oh good obj dot add sorry 22 i need to make this head private so that it won't show here and there see now it would not show me head see now good so one two three and now i want to print this list so obj dot print wow so let's check this out oh nice our linked list is working perfect see we are having three elements and whenever i'm i want these elements these are getting printed so that's good so now we would be creating another method that is peak so what peak method does so your peak method returns the topmost element okay so return top most element so what is the code for that so now you want the top element or the element that is at its head so you need what do you need you need a method public void no 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 not void because it would return so we would be using peak so now what i want is i want the data of our head node but if our head is null so what do you want to print so if our head is null uh, i want to print no i want to show an error uh, system
uh, I want to show my error message which is that cannot peek from empty head okay and I would return null here I would return 0 integer and you can also show simple message also but I like to do this way as well as if if it is not the case so what to do so in order to do that I would simply return head dot data this would this should give me the last element uh, sorry the topmost element so and top is equal to obj dot peak if I print this what should I get oh good I get 12 after that now my list should be uh, 22 and 123 because it is removing an element so no our list is not getting a list is not shrinked so what to do now so I would explain you later on how to do is it's your now it is for you this is a task you can take it as a task that why or you have to do or update this method put some constraint on this so that it would now move to the next part okay so now what we want we want the number of nodes okay so this is your task to complete this function okay else while i would be completing this if you won't be getting this but for the time being you should also practice something not everything is provided here so i want to get the count get count so get count means i want the number of nodes that is present the oh, sorry why no i i want count so i want to return int get count so again two cases if head is equal to null so head is equal to null so then it would return else while what i want is return zero else while node node temp is equal to head because i am already told you why i am using this so uh, and i would be having a counter variable that would be initialized to zero while while temp is not equal to null i would be what i would be doing would be count plus plus and temp is equal to temp dot next okay and here i would be returning count so this is your count method so uh, Oh, that's get count total total nodes yeah total list size uh, i can say list size because we have a size method in there so is equal to count see list size is three we have added three elements if i want to add obj dot add 3434 so list count would increase to 4 so that is correct see how easily these methods are being implemented okay as well as you can uh, use various other elements also okay so this is the whole linked list implementation you can uh, make I have made just for integer here see you can make this class as generic as you know linked list is generic class so you can make this class generic 
so wherever i am using this int you could have also done this is from for element so you could have done this e data uh, okay and similarly for wherever you are finding int you have to put here e it is uh, uh, add i would like have to add a cast because i have to make this class as generic so this is upon you how you do these methods so i hope you all like this video got to know how or what is the impl internal implementation of our linked list class so till then if you have any doubts uh, in making this class generic also you can comment down below so i would be creating another video regarding that generic class how to create that generic class so till then have a good day and thanks for watching